Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Edra Cyril of Corrective Step Foot Health Center in Tigard, Oregon. We have a toenail here in front of us that we're actually going to be taking off part of the border permanently. So we're going to call this a partial avulsion with a chemical matricectomy. And so what I'm going to do is basically show you the part I'm going to take off. And so there's a portion of this patient's toenail that's nice and flat, but then right over here, it really dives deep. So we call this a pincher style nail. So it's not like the patient did anything wrong. They were just born this way. Unfortunately, when they wear shoes or they do certain types of activity, when their feet swell up, it pushes on that soft tissue of the nail and causes an impingement. So instead of just taking that part that's pinched, I'm actually gonna take a little bit more just to avoid that corner. And our patient is good and numb now. And we have our betadine prep on here. I'm gonna make my homeschool tourniquet. So we use some gauze, and then we're using a rubber band and a hemostat. <clears throat> and patient, can you feel anything? No. Nope. Okay, what about now? No. Nope. All right, what about now? Yep. Good, <laughs> you should. All right, so our patient's good and numb. We have our chemicals ready, we have our dressings ready. So I take my hemostat. There's a smooth side, there's a rough side. The smooth side always goes against the skin. And we loosen up the skin on the nail foam, push it back so we can just Pop that portion out really easy on that nail. So this is about as far back as I'm going to go on this corner. And then we get the underneath portion. And we just walk it, work it back. You may feel some pressure. And again, the rough side is going towards the nail. The smooth side is going against the nail bed. There we go. All right, now we're ready for my favorite part, the turn. So I clamp it and I'm gonna just rotate my arm, my hand, and there's the nail. Now I know exactly how much I'm gonna take out. <clears throat> and like I said, this is where it curves. So we're gonna take out just that portion where it curves. And there you go. And you can see what part was actually within the toe and what part was actually exposed by the color. So now we clean it up a little bit. Make sure there's no residual, no portions inside. And you can see there's some chunks in there that we're just going to pull out. That's what was really causing her pain and discomfort. Very good. Now we're ready for the actual chemical burn portion. And my chemicals on the top. So now we're scoring that nail matrix. So this is where the actual nail grows. So we're gonna put some chemical back here so it won't grow back. So when I say scored, I'm actually increasing the surface area so the medication penetrates and works a little bit better. So if you ever have a chemical matricectomy, you're gonna to expect to have more drainage coming from your toe and the procedure site because we're actually causing a chemical burn. And chemical burns are going to drain and as they try to heal. So you're also going to notice that it may be a little bit more swollen if you just had the nail removed. But at the same time, the recovery is going to be almost exactly the same. The only difference is you're going to experience probably a little bit more draining. And as well as no nail growing back. And that's usually 90% of the time the nail does not grow back. And one more. The big question is what chemical am I using? I'm using sodium hydroxide and then I'm going to use acetic acid to reverse the chemical burn. Now that that's sizzling, can you hear it? Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. I'm just kidding. We're going to reverse it. And acetic acid always reminds me of deviled eggs. And now it might be weird talking about food looking at this, but I look at stuff like this all day, every day. I'm always hungry. <laughs> Still doing okay, my dear? Mm -hmm. Last one. I'm going to raise you up so you can see what you are left with. 
So you see, not so bad. So now we use our Vaseline impregnated gauze and generous helping of petroleum jelly and two by two gauze. You're gonna keep this dressing on for 24 hours. After 24 hours, you're gonna soak it off. When you soak it off, you wanna do it under water. If you do it under dry surface, it's gonna not be fun. After 24 hours and you soak it off, you wanna clean it with antibacterial soap and water. You wanna pat dry it, you don't want to rub it. And you keep on changing dressing every day, twice a day, and put antibiotic ointment and dry steel dressing. You're gonna do that every day for the first five days. So on day five, you will stop soaking it twice a day. You'll just take a shower and be normal. On day five, you'll stop using antibiotic ointment. And on day five, you don't have to wear a bandit at nighttime, okay? Typically, like I said, you're gonna experience some draining. That's gonna be okay. I'll see you back in two weeks to make sure everything's on the up and up. You're gonna find that this toll, the numbing medication is gonna wear off in about eight hours. So I would suggest with dinner, you have some um, topical, or you have some oral medications such as Tylenol, or ibuprofen, whatever your pain reliever of choice is. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we'll see you back in two weeks. Okay. And we'll see you later. Take care.